Good evening viewers, it's time for another Subscriber Monday. It is number 31 I believe, and this week we have a replay sent in by Fight Breast Cancer in his Bat Chat 25D. And right away, he is going to the middle or the 2-3 line, pretty standard for mediums really. Uh, on this map generally you either see mediums going there or into the, uh, the F line for the most part. There are some variations but besides that. So they've spotted a 1390. And the enemy does have artillery so might have to be somewhat careful about that. So he stayed at the HJ5 line. The rest of his team has moved up to H3 and he's waiting for the 1390. However, it is behind a rock. So he's going to have to wait for it to pull out. And suddenly there's a bad chat. Puts one into the bad chat. Second shot misses due to the bad chat backing up. Seeing if the 1390 is going to pop out or not. So far it hasn't. Allied E50 is pushing up, and the 1390 is dead. So, as you can tell by the minimap, um, his medium, his allied mediums are getting pushed by the enemy heavies and medium. And uh, FBC, I think I'll just call you that, is now on reload, so he can't exactly help them just this moment. And they don't really have armor besides the E5. So as soon as the E5 dies, they're kind of in a problem. Um, and yeah, because they don't have armor. Uh, the only one that really has some armor would be the 907. But the bat chat and or both bat chats are pretty low health. FBC has reloaded. E75 right there. Is he gonna pop out and shoot it? E100 pulling up. Fires at the E75, pens it. FBC is going for the lower plate of the E75, misses that shot. Puts another one into the E75's lower plate, takes a hit in return. Can he finish it off? Yes, he can. Alright. He has one shot left, goes for the reload, and now he is. Is he falling back? I think he might be soon. Alright, yeah, he's falling back. Okay. So, E100 right there. Gotta be careful because that might try popping out and shooting him. He's behind the rock, so he is safe now. Heading towards the bridge, either to push over to kill the mouse or to help the E100. And he's gonna help the E100. Alright. No shot in the bat chat going by. Now, he could try taking the shot in the drive with the E100, but it's on the move and there's no guarantee it'll, you know, both track and pen it. So he goes for the E5 instead. E5 has pretty decent armor, but the side is paper thin, as many E5 drivers will tell you. And he pens four shots on the E5. I think he actually, I think the first one just tracked it. So he's reloading. His allied E100 is now dead. Meaning it's only an E50M holding back all those tanks from him while he uh, reloads. So he's peeking out again. He's almost done reloading. There you go. Looks like he was going for the side of the turret. Bounce the first one, pen the second, and can he... no. Alright. Enemy bat chat appears. He has three rounds in the clip. Puts one into the bat chat. Puts another one in, tracking him, and can he finish him off? Yes he can. Alright, so back on reload. 
14 shells left. Still most of it is HP, which is a good thing. In autoloaders, you generally... You want to do damage early on, but you want to save most of your hit points um, so that you can be more aggressive later on than you may have been had you uh, lost your HP. Getting around the mouse, and he has to be careful here because the mouse can actually do a good about amount of damage. It has a lot of HP. So, mouse not paying attention, puts one into his side, two into his side, can he put a third? If he can, mouse hits him with a gold round, puts a fourth into him because of it. And now he's one left, can he put it into him before getting away? Yes he can, alright. Now he's reloading, but he is behind the cover of the rock here. And the mouse, in case you don't know, is a very slow tank, so he can easily just run around this uh, rock to evade the mouse. And he is going to do so. He is also asking his team not to cap, because um, it, it's clearly a win for the most part. And will they do it? So Jag Tiger capping, will he... Oh! It's actually a nice guy. Holy shit. That is actually quite surprising, to be honest. That someone in a random game would actually help out a teammate. So, props to that guy. Uh, so he puts a shot into the E4, lights the E4 on fire. Puts another one into him, he's still burning, so he's gonna go to the mouse. Puts one into the mouse, one shell left, and the mouse is dead, so he kills the E4. And he thanks the Jack Tiger, which is, you know, still quite surprising. So, very good game. On to the after battle result. Alright, so, that was an Ace Tanger game. Not surprising, really. Uh, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Bruiser, High Caliber, Tanker Sniper. Still hate the name of that. Um, as you can see, he is grateful to the Jack Tiger as well. Not surprising, really. It is rare that you see that, to be honest. Um, he got 8,604 damage, 3 kills, top experience as well with 1,223. Um, let's see, 26 shots fired, 24 hit the target, 22 penetrated, uh, already saw the damage, 3 hits received, 3 penetrated, the Bacha isn't known for its armor, uh, though you will get rare bounces. Um, he damaged seven enemies, destroyed three, got 302 assistance, made a profit of 60,416, and got 1,834 experience. So, very good game. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And thank you for watching.